The Palaszczuk government calls it a traditional Labor budget. Focusing on health, education and housing. Queensland's health system is set to soak up nearly one third of all expenses with a 13 per cent boost to operating funding over two years. The Palaszczuk Labor government will establish a $2 billion hospital building fund to address growth pressures across the health system. Ten new schools will be constructed, costing nearly $1 billion. There's $52 billion being spent on infrastructure, while social housing will see a significant boost of more than 6,000 new dwellings. Our government will commit $1.9 billion over four years to increase the supply of social housing, upgrade the existing stock of dwellings and deliver critical housing services to vulnerable Queenslanders. Taxation revenue is expected to grow 9.1 per cent in 2020-21, adding an extra $1.3 billion into state coffers. It's due largely to stronger stamp duty and gambling taxes, though resource royalties are forecast to slump. In future, debt may well rise again to respond to another crisis, to deal with a disaster, disaster or to build the infrastructure of our state. The Treasurer is comfortable with the state budget staying in the red for the next four years before eventually forecasting a $153 million surplus in 2024-25. Until then, annual deficits will add to the state's total debt, which climbs over the Ford estimates to reach $127 billion. As we see the Commonwealth Government engaging in a borrowing spree that dwarfs anything the state may do, it is my hope that those opposite and those in the media finally come to grips with the fact that debt is not a dirty word. The opposition will have a chance to have its own spin in the budget reply speech later this week. Ben Murphy, Sky News, Brisbane.